Who do we want to talk to? That's my first question. Or who did we cut communication? Who wants to talk to you now? But you're on the more one message oh, reply. Like, okay, what do you want? What do you want to talk about? Okay, I'm listening. All right, and okay. Mm hmm. I understand. But what's the truth? Are you going to tell me the truth? Are you going to be honest? Ooh. <laughs> Iris, how did you wake up today? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day with no sass. You bring the sass today. <laughs> I was going to say dear astrology, but I'm not doing any charts right now. <laughs> but you can download our app in the description box below also. So that way when I uh, give announcement, you can get the first dibs. Uh, so we have an app. We have it for four years so people doesn't know. <laughs> I also, um, uh, uh, how do you call this, teach people how to manifest using different kinds of gemstones and crystals and techniques. Okay, so let's begin here. If you are new, welcome. Eat, Read, Love is a very lovely store here in Los Angeles. We make jewelry and I do tarot and of course I do astrology also. We make custom bracelets. So clearly the Aries are saying, you know, we got to cut the crap over here. You know, you love me, I love you, I care about you, you care about me, but what's the deal here? How come when I need to talk to you, sometimes you just ignore me? Mm -hmm. So I'll say that. Say that loud and clear. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Opening your chart here, guys, one second. So having right now, you know, this opening up from your person, can be a younger person, also younger air sign, because you have a page of swords. It's giving like, do I really have to deal with this? You know, you have seventh house is Libra, right? You're smart now. Jupiter is direct in your sign. So your direction is really to ask them, how's it going? You want me? You know, lover's card, intimacy, right? Connection, passion. This card right here says it all. But it lacks the action, especially if you're connected with a page. Page is a younger person who cannot really follow up what they promise. So you get all the promises, the good things, the wonderful words that they would text you, you know, and send to you. But then when things become serious, oh, yeah. Oh, I was busy. Sorry. You text, you call, mm, six of swords. Mm. They kind of try to push everything under the rug and then just ignore certain things. So they have what we call, you know, instead of like a photographic memory, um, they're very much selective okay, with what they will remember. Why do you know? I, do we have to talk about it right now? Yeah. Are we going to? Well, the Queen of Swords does not play. The serious relationship. The Aries wants, of course, a partnership right now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of less, of course, here in this uh, energy because yeah, the lovers... Venus is in your 8th house, which means there are certain things that you probably want from them that we cannot say here in YouTube. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords with a Hierophant and a Ten of Wands. I feel like the person that you're connecting with have explained to you that relationship sometimes is something that weighs them down. So they're not like, uh, well, I feel like they're not going to share the burden of the relationship. Is You know, relationships is a work. Relationship is a work. We build it through time. It is established, you know, efforts every day, affirmations, you know, towards each other, respect, love, loyalty. So for your person, ten of wands in a higher nah, you know, it's like that's too much, you know. This is the relationship and how it should be stable. The ten of wands over here is showing the work. So that's the whole commitment. They're thinking about it. So while the time that they're thinking. Well, the two of you won't be talking. So they've been thinking. There is no talking. Six of Swords. And that's where you got tired. Because how many times do you have to think? This is not me asking you what the square root of 54 times, you know, pi uh, round to the blah, blah, blah. You know, it's basic. It's, are you committed to me? Are you talking to other people? Are we just screwing each other here? So that way I know. Because snap, snap. Okay? Mm-hmm. Eight of Pentacles here and Knight of Pentacles. Well, they're very busy according to them and they have things that they need to focus on. As a Taurus right there, their career is actually important, of course. Everyone's job is. It does pay the bills. 
and the Eight of Pentacles is like that's where they're focused. I don't sense that they're telling you this right now, but that's how you feel. Because every time you ask them, they don't tell you everything, but it, it's almost as if like that's their priority. And you know that, you know, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So you message again and then you got rejected with the Four of Cups right here. So now you're looking at it in a pros and cons, just this card. So it's more of like, okay, so I see you. This is what you've been doing. Every time emotionally I need you, every time, you know, there's something that I would ask or request with the Four of Cups, you're not available to me. That's not right. You know, so you feel now taken for granted, considering the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is jaded at this point. So you have been through the ringer for your person and your person does not really reciprocate because the Four of Cups with the Justice, you always, they always have to think about it. It's like, oh, uh, let me think about it. There's two crystals that everyone should have, citrine and obsidian. I'm telling you, I have manifested money, business, the house, the car, and of course, the relationship. So if you're stuck and you don't know what's going to happen in your 2024, turn it around today. Get your citrine and obsidian. Our website is eatreadlove.me. So you're not really the top shelf for them. I'm just saying, okay? Now, ooh, I feel like you're about to find out the truth about your person. One thing that I need to, well, I want to share with you guys is if you are really focusing on your career, your money right here, are Black Obsidian and Citrine, of course, 50% off. It is available. It's a stack. We have it also. Um, it's 50% off the stack. And at the same time, we do free shipping in the U.S. We do ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. And at the same time, there's free class in the description box below. Okay. Now, if there's anything that I would like you, you know, to help you, especially with your finances, is yes, a focus, a focus, a focus. That's the Eight of Pentacles. But regardless of how much hard work you have, ever wonder why you never get the next level of your paycheck? You know, it's like, oh, the promotion or even business-wise. Because money has a frequency. And so I know the frequency for me, for my money, and I needed to break it. So I use the citrine, attract prosperity, remove negativity with the black obsidian. You know, you're more than welcome to try, of course, you know, as it has helped me, you know, in the past four years, the growth that I've experienced using different kinds of crystals, you know, um, not the one that, you know, is illegal. <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> okay. What I'm talking about is the crystals that, you know, that can help us manifest. So you can check it. Now, you're about to find out the truth. I'm not sure if you're ready for this because there is now the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Your person is very much avoidant, okay? Very, very avoidant in the situation. Because the Seven of Swords is like, ooh, very sneaky, you know. You are confrontational, Queen of Swords. But you can't hide anything from the Queen of Swords. They'll find out the truth one way or the other. This is the crown symbol of victory. This is the hand of God, actually. You're giving your person a chance to explain himself. Like earlier, when I did the monologue for you, it's like, are you going to tell me the truth? Mm. Because I see that you're trying to talk to me. However, it feels like we're going around circles. And I'm not here to go around circles. I don't enjoy merry-go-round. I don't like roller coaster. You know, I just want to straight up to the point. It's 2024, darling. You know, so, and you do it with a smile, of course. You know, it's early this year. I don't want to be nasty. And I don't want to start a fight. You know, I have to go back to work. But if you're just here trying to disturb me with your excuses as a seven of swords, and then you just want something from me and chances are to get under my pants, well, this is not for me. <laughs> That's the Aries right there. When you know, you know. Oh, if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Because it's not fair. This is what you're saying. Totally. Right? There is no reciprocity over here. It's like, ooh, they're having fun. Ooh, they're enjoying their life. Mm -mm -mm. Strength card, of course. The struggle is real to get the truth out of your person. But you keep trying, though. Um, at this point, I want to blame you already, Iris, because you're still with them. <laughs> well, what can I do? So, we do have this connection, the lovers. And you're still hopeful that they will come out of this. So, the whole Empress, that's the Empress standing in this line over there, could be dealing with the Leo also. So, the whole part of you being in an Empress mode, loving, nurturing, caring, is still there. So, there is a still an ounce of that Empress with you. So, you're willing to stick through with this. Okay. Because that's a strength that's being courageous, you know, trying and trying. Now, let me see your chart here. Well, all planets are direct, so 
I don't expect any kind of uh, intense wise. But Mars, of course, is combust until six more days, which is your Lagna Lord. Be careful with your health. Um, Page of Pentacles. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Here comes the explanation. Another text message. Another I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So your person is ready to explain themselves. Now, this involves, of course, the stability of this relationship, the Hierophant, and if they are willing to work on it, that's a Ten of Wands. So now they cannot avoid you. I'm seeing this is an explanation that they're coming. Ooh. Bravo, bravo. Well, ish, you know, they feel pressured right now. It can be a Scorpio or a Virgo because your person is trying to look at it and trying to think about it. And right now, I feel... The Six of Pentacles, you know, they feel pressured because they know that you're, they're just getting, uh, they're just giving you breadcrumbs right here with the Six of Pentacles. You're not a priority. So now they run out of options and they have to tell you the truth with a judgment. So let's see what's your person's true intention. Ooh, okay. Uh -huh. It feels like this is it, guys. All right. Their expectation towards you. Oh, my golly. Mm. <laughs> How is it again? So, mm. No, it's, it's, it's something probably like you, th oh, if you think, you know, you have no idea. Mm, I wonder why is there's a death card over here. Fi Ooh, find out more, link in the description for the extended reading. Let's dive deeper. Hold on, hold on. You're here already and I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with a real gold PL.